Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona's channel in English. Well, to be honest, uh, when I started this channel some days ago, I thought that as the season was over, I'd have, I'd have problems getting news to talk about. But, well, as they said uh, yesterday in Eric's presentation, oh my God, <laughs> there is even more news than during the season. So let's start. Well, if two days ago we had Kuhn's presentation, yesterday it was Garcia's turn. Here we had the presentation, the Garcia's presentation in the Camp Nou. Later we will see more information, but uh, he signed he came to Barcelona and he signed for five seasons. We will have Eric Garcia until June the 30th, 2026. And if he wants to release his contract, there is a release clause of 400 million euros. It's incredible. It's amazing. I, I can't believe it because his market value is around 20 million. And we have signed him for free. I mean, if you see, Barcelona is signing all the players for free. Later we will see this thing. But for me, I have no words. It's amazing. So, well, let's talk about how how was his day because it was really, really uh, busy. And also I want to remark that Eric Garcia wanted always to come to Barcelona. He had other other uh, opportunities, but he decided to come to Barcelona. And when he, when it was his last year of contract with Manchester City, he decided he resigned to con to renew the contract, knowing that he won't he would come to Barcelona. And he waited for one long year to be here. So welcome home, Eric. So, well, uh, Eric arrived at 9 a.m. He underwent the medical examination at Redmond Cugat's clinic, the same clinic as uh, where it went the day before. And after that, around 1 p.m., he signed the, his contract with Laporta and Justin next to him. And then he dressed up in Barcelona's costume. And then Eric and Laporta underwent the press conference. He was there in the camp now, taking some pictures, etc., doing some some uh, acrobacies and games with a ball. And after that, he changed back and he went to do the conference press, the press, the press conference. Sorry, and now, and then here in the press conference, he explained why he left Barcelona, and he said, "When I left the team in twenty in Barcelona." In 2017, nobody believed in La Masia, and indeed, it has had that that fact has had an important consequences in the team now, as nobody from from La Masia came up to the first team. Now we had players in the starting eleven, but they were quite old, and that's one of the reasons for the decrease in competitivity of the team nowadays. Also, he has said that he's looking forward to playing with Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati and Eric are very close friends. And now finally, they meet together again in Barcelona and they will have. And I'm sure that when Ansu Fati gets better, they will enjoy playing in the camp now. Well, let's talk about the pros and cons of Eric Garcia's arrival. Well, in my opinion, the cons are not many. Maybe that he's still too young, and last season he played just six matches. So it it may be a a con. And why one of the reasons he didn't play that match is because, as he didn't renew with Manchester City, Pep decided to play with other players to develop his own team. So. You, you don't want to play with those players that you know you don't count with next year. You will play with those that you know they will improve your team. 
So that's one of the reasons. Um, anyway, one of the pros is that he's he's a very talented player, and we have got it for free. We could pay it. Actually, Manchester City last year was asking for 20 million, later 15. In January, even for five, and finally we got him for free. Yeah, we 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 had some doubts about it because he had many other options, but finally his heart got it. Um, and that's because the Barcelona situa economic situation is very delicate. And Laporta knew that and he didn't want to sign anyone paying anything because he didn't he was sure that all the news we were hearing hearing, sorry, about Barcelona's economic situation was even worse than it it appeared. And well we will see this month. Um so now Laporta can just sign players for free or paying very little as Emerson we just paid nine millions and it's because we had already signed some something like that. So also uh, the back player has come to strengthen Barcelona's back. And as I said some days ago, Barcelona's back is a hole. This season we started with Langlet, MTT and PK. Umtiti's knee is a problem for the player and for Barcelona. He's very slow. And now, well, you know, we, we've lost some matches because of him, not because of the team, because of Umtiti. Lenglet has had some matches to forget, really. Red cards, hands, penalties, really bad season. And he has, he has been quite slow sometimes too. And Piquet, because of an important player in the back, because he organizes his teammates, but he got injured, and after that, I think his his level has decreased because I'm not really sure that his knee has recovered properly. So for that reason, Araujo and Mingueza came up to the first team, but they are still unexperienced players. So they perform a great season, but they still had some mistakes. So it's normal that we have to improve our back. And I think Garcia has the experience that Araujo and Mingueza doesn't have. And he's still quite young, not like Lenglet, MTT or Piquet. Well, MTT is not that old, but he's means far. So I think, sadly, um, Eric Garcia is the player that we needed at the back. So that means that nowadays we have six players at the back. Piquet, Lenglet, Mingueza, Araujo, Umtiti, and Eric Garcia. So what does it mean for the team? It means that the directive board has told Umtiti that he has to find a new team directly. They haven't they, they have not been thinking like, oh well, maybe we should no no no. Go and find a new team. Why? Because as it's known, he earns 12 million euros. It's more than even Ter Stegen. And his performance is even worse every year. We have him in the on the on the bench doing nothing. We are paying 12 million. Imagine. So as the team is looking to reduce, is looking for reducing the the total payroll, the directive board can't accept to pay so much money for a player that is not even playing. But we have here the same problem as Madrid has with Bale. He earns a lot of money and no team will pay that much. And also, he has a contract for two years. Two years more, we will have him TT here if he doesn't want to go. So even if Barcelona says that he has to, to leave and find a new team, if he doesn't want Barcelona, we'll have to keep paying him about without playing. As until now, I don't think Titi will, will be, will accept to leave. He doesn't care. It seems that he doesn't care to play or not. So. So I think this new incorporation has been very interesting and will be very helpful for the team. But now we have, because now we have finally a top scorer and a great defender. So let's see, I think next season will be quite interesting and probably Emerson, as already Betty said that Barcelona paid 9 million for him. I think Emerson will come next, in, in few days, will be presented too. Uh, so that's all for for the moment. Uh, now we'd like to know what you think. So who do you think? 
who do you think, sorry, will be the next incorporation? And what do you think about Garcia's arrival? Will have the bag? Will be just another case? Um, and also, do you think Bar Laporta is hiring players for free now? Because later he wants to spend 150 million euros to hire to fire uh, to hire to sign Hasa uh, Haaland. So uh, whatever is your opinion, <clears throat> leave it in the comments. And also remember, if you like the video, hit the but the like button below and if you don't want to miss any of our videos subscribe to the channel thank you for watching us and see you in the next video ciao